Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I went up on and do a quick unboxing of this Dooney & Burke Florentine bag that I purchased from Poshmark. But before I get started, I do want to say thank you to those of you who have subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed already, please consider doing so. I put out a lot of videos about contemporary center handbags like Coach, Michael Kors, Fossil, Longchamp, as well as some luxury items like Gucci, Burberry, and Goyard. And if you end up liking this video, please do give me a thumbs up down below. Uh, so like I said, this is a bag that I purchased from Poshmark. The seller gave me a cute little thank you card, which I will... So she packaged it really well. And you see the bag. So on first glance, the bag smells very strongly of some kind of perfumey smell. But it's not an unpleasant smell, it's just a strong smell. Um, so this is a Dooney & Burke Florentine pocket satchel, I believe it's called. Um, I knew it was going to be, like, scratched up based on the pictures on Poshmark. Um, so this is not terribly surprising, and I, I'm going to try to leather condition it to see how those come out. Um, but it does look like it's in fairly good shape. It was described as new without tags, so I am going to check to see if it feels like it's been used. Like, I'm going to check to see if the interior has any lint. So looking at the inside there, the interior does look pretty clean. Um, there is a little bit of dirt, but that might just be, yeah. So that's definitely been used. You can see that. So it's not new with tags, but it is fairly clean and maybe I could just clean that out. Looking in the back pocket, it looks fairly clean. The slip pocket also has a little bit of dirt, but all of this seems like it's something I could just vacuum up pretty easily. Um, looking into the front pocket, what do we got? The front pocket, again, looks clean. It's nice and spacious. It'll be good to put my phone at least there or um, my wallet and then the back slip pocket is a good size I think I could actually slip my phone back there and then have my wallet and keys in the front it's a fairly heavy bag it is Florentine leather and I know those bags tend to be heavier you have the whip stitch detail um, it does look nice I mean I think so I got this bag for I think around hundred twenty dollars when you include tax and shipping and everything which is obviously you know a great price for a, a Florentine bag um, particularly this style, I think right now it's at QVC for like $400 or something. So it is a good price that I've gotten. Um, it's obviously pretty beat up, at least on the exterior, uh, which I don't necessarily hate because I feel like I would cause those scratches myself anyway. So perhaps, you know, it would be nice to just get the bag already used so that I feel like I can use it more comfortably. It does look like the sides have darkened more than the back. You can see there's like a pretty noticeable color difference. So looking at the corners, uh, the corners are pretty dirty. Um, you can see they're kind of dark. Perhaps I should try to clean those and see what happens. You see there's like a significant scuff there. There as well, this is definitely not a new bag. Um, Looking at the strap, the strap looks okay. Um, the holes on the strap don't look like they're super used, which is good. So even if this bag was used a couple times, I guess it wasn't used very extensively. Um, yeah, so that is my initial unboxing. I will probably take a closer look at this bag, especially in the morning once there's more light outside see if I see any other problems. Um, the corner dirt is a bit annoying, but I feel like I could probably get that out with leather cleaner. Um, you do have feet at the bottom. Um, but otherwise, I think I like it. So yeah, um, thanks guys for watching. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions, and I will see you next time. Bye!